Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today covering today the AI day coming up for Tesla. We will look into Tesla energy expanding in China and we will look into Great Britain as the Model 3 is sold out. And if you do enjoy that, do consider subscribing. It is free and I'm happy to have you all here today. And we will start with Tesla energy in China. So they have decided to start by today today expanding with the energy business into China. So that is a really big move guys and we have to talk about that. First of all, I really like that they do that because it gives a chance to many, many people, not only in China, but in many countries surrounding China and as well, for example, New Zealand and Australia, a much better chance to get a solar roof, solar panels and a power wall. Furthermore, the mega packs market will further expand as Tesla will be able to um, deliver much faster as they don't have to do that from Nevada. Furthermore, we, I believe that the Chinese market will be pretty tough and I will tell you why. Because the electricity price is just around about one cent per kilowatt hour in cent dollars. So that is really cheap compared to many other countries when you compare what you pay per kilowatt hour. So the big question is, once Tesla is entering this market, how is Tesla convincing Chinese people that own a house to buy, buy a power wall and solar panels or a solar roof for a luxury price because it's pretty expensive for Chinese people, I assume, and they don't have like this big advantage. They have the advantage to be independent. Yes, that's the point. But um, if someone from China is watching this here, please let me know if you get any money by putting um, solar energy into the grid because that's something I couldn't find. And furthermore, this electricity bills are already pretty low for um, foreign countries um, circumstances. In Germany, you would pay much more than that. So the question here is how can they convince Chinese people to buy those products? On the other hand, if you look to Australia, New Zealand, but especially Australia, we do know um, that Elon Musk was many times there and we know that there is a mega pack market and they have expanded with mega packs over there. And we know that the people in Australia, for example, I don't want to hit on you all, but um, it is it is unfortunately an example here the electricity prices are really high. So they could export everything produced in Shanghai to Australia and other countries surrounding China where the electricity bills are much higher. I think that would be the right strategy. Please let me know down below in the comment section what you think if they should concentrate on the Chinese market or if they should expand and export all those products. I do think it makes it much easier for Tesla as they don't have to send some stuff around the entire world from Nevada. So I think it is a really good news. Furthermore, we have the LFP batteries that will be inside and we do know that Cattle is doing the LFP batteries here and Cattle is also building a big battery factory just nearby Giga Shanghai. So it will give Tesla the opportunity to have no battery shortage. And we do see that the strategy of Tesla is right now to have battery production in each market. So Giga Berlin battery fac uh, factory and then in the other markets too. Furthermore, we do have CEO Elon Musk announcing that the um, Tesla will have an AI day in about a month and they will show us how far they got with the Tesla AI software and hardware and both training and inference. Furthermore, the purpose is recruiting. In general, anyone interested in working on physical word AI problems should consider joining Tesla, fastest path to, to deploying your ideas in real life. So uh, one thing will be the recruiting, one will be the progress, and I think they will further talk about the Dojo supercomputer, and I think they will also go into updates for the FSD Beta V9 that we are all waiting for, and we have no big news yet when it will finally be launched. And as well, we might know how far Tesla still needs to reach level five of full self-driving, which is the key factor we are all waiting for. And especially for all the users of FSD in their car, 
um, it is really important to have this update. So we have to keep that date or the time frame in our mind. I'm um, just coming back to the strategy for Tesla when it comes to batteries. Um, I do really see that Tesla is trying to get the supply chains as close as possible. So by producing batteries here in Austin, um, producing batteries in Nevada and producing batteries at Giga Berlin very soon and then producing by cattle in um, Giga Shanghai batteries. Um, Tesla is achieving something. They don't have to ship batteries around the entire world. So if people are upset now that Tesla Energy is moving to China and people are still waiting for power walls in the United States, um, Tesla is separating those markets. So they won't ship any power walls from China to Canada or the United States. So if you're in the United States and you're waiting for Powerwall, you will get it much faster once Tesla is achieving to have locally produced batteries in each market. Um, and so it makes it much easier and the waiting list is much shorter. So just imagine in Europe, once um, Giga Berlin is run up, up and running, I think they will make as well Powerwall solar roofs and solar panels at some point. And this will give everyone in every um, market or continent the chance to get much faster product here, which is what we need because the United States can't serve all customers around the world. This is not working. Looking into the EV purchase grant available in European countries, we do see my home country, Germany at second place and we have Estonia with $15,500. We do see how they push the market here. When we look at the United Kingdom that we are talking about here right now, $2,500, which is lower because uh, dollars, um, actually pounds, and it is lower than before. It was 3,000 pounds. And here comes the interesting part. Despite the lowering um, incentives here, we do see that the Model 3 standard range plus is sold out till August, guys. And yes, this is just another around five, six weeks, but we do see a trend here in every single market, in a lot of markets in Europe, we do see that certain products are sold out and this shows how big the demand for Tesla products is. And this makes me really excited once Giga Berlin is up and running and I'm really looking forward to see when the Model 3 is coming as well to Europe. So once this is happening, I think it is game over here in Europe. Um, once Tesla can achieve um, putting those two products to market. If you did enjoy my video, do consider subscribing and I hope to see you back very soon tomorrow for the next update. Take care guys.